good YouTube and we back with another reaction video we about to react to um, seven the seven biggest victims of Michael Jordan um, from basketball time machine so all my um, Michael Jordan heads tap in make sure y'all subscribe we trying to get this channel to 6k subs but we trying to get the 10k 10k is the main goal but we trying to get the 6,000 first uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button um, she go if you if you're new to the channel go through all my videos man I'm pretty sure you are you are, you gonna subscribe bro just fuck with man just fuck with your boy man for real um, but yeah man we about to hop right into it um, I appreciate y'all man let's get it Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. I'm your host, Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to take a look at NBA players that really, really had a bad time playing against Michael Jordan. So guys that really got destroyed over their entire career playing against MJ. But before we dive into today's episode, I want to ask you guys for a small favor. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoy the content. Alright, you know said, let's dive right into today's episode. Let's get it. Victims of Michael Jordan, man. You know he murdered everybody. The seven biggest victims, though. The first player that was on Michael Jordan's victim list is Craig Elo. Craig Elo. Playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers, who were a powerhouse in the Eastern Conference in the late 1980s to mid-1990s, Craig Elo often got the task to guard Michael Jordan. And even though Elo was not the most athletic guy, he was a solid defender. But for whatever reason, Michael Jordan would have some of his greatest performances against the Cleveland Cavaliers and, of course, Craig Elo. MJ almost averaged 34 points per game against Elo and also would have some of the craziest highlights that would last forever in every fan's memory. Down to seven, it was 11. Here's Jordan in deep on Elo. Oh, yeah! oh! <laughs> We've seen them all, Jimmy. We've seen them all. Craig Elo, who has scored 15 points here in the fourth quarter, has played big in the big period, the biggest of the season for the Cavaliers. Zeller has <coughs> Jordan. Jordan, shot. Two seconds to go. Puts it up and shot, shot boy. Another player that was on Damn. Michael Jordan's hit list was Dan Marley. Dan Marley. Marley was actually one of my favorite players in the early 1990s. Oh, that 1993 NBA Finals. Literally anywhere, but also give you 110% on defense. Playing for the Phoenix Suns in the Western Conference, he did not have too many matchups against Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls, but when they played against each other, Dan Marley got tortured by MJ. Mm. If we take Shit. a look at the numbers, you would think that Jordan played against a scrub, but Dan Marley was an NBA All-Star and really could hoop. But again, Michael Jordan just needed some extra motivation, and the rest is history. Facts. I knew that Jerry Krause loved Dan Martin, and just because Krause liked him was enough for me. <laughs> I think he's a great defensive player. Okay, all right. All right, bet. I'm going to show you that he's not. I'm going to show you that he's not. <laughs> Greatness, bro. Who got that mindset? In my mindset that if I don't do this, then they're going to consider him on the same level as me, and that motivated me to... That's a different type of beast right there. That's a whole different type of beast. Jordan with the tongue out. Oh, shit. And the next player that I want to talk about is Brian Russell. With Russell, it's very interesting because Brian Russell used to get that work. a few guys who challenged Michael Jordan in terms of trash talking. Mm. Something that is never a good idea. But some people just had to learn the hard way. Looking at the numbers, again, Jordan would dominate. And I'm pretty Damn. sure most oh, of you guys shit. remember the finals between the Chicago Bulls and the Utah 32 Jets. 32 to 7. Exactly oh my God, God he fucked Russell him up right there. Oh my boss. God. Yeah, Brian Russell? 
<laughs> when I was playing baseball, Utah's in town to play the Bulls. They're practicing at the facility. I go over and say hello to John and Carl. And this kid, Brian Russell, comes up to me and says, man, why you quit? Why you quit? Man, you knew I could guard your ass. I couldn't, you, you had to quit. I said, Carl, you need to talk to this dude, man. Nah, he's just a young rookie. But from that point on, he's been on my list. Well, against mm. Russell, 12 seconds. 11, Jordan put you right on the list. Jordan, a drive. Excuse me. Fires. You better touch the fucking floor, man. It's another one. Another one. Another one. Let's let's get up out of here. This is one of my favorite ones. Let's get up out of here. Thank you. Greatness. And the next player on my list, or let's say Michael Jordan's list, was Clyde the Glove. Clyde, Drexler. for sure. Clyde, Clyde Drexler, for sure. Clyde never talked trash to MJ, and Clyde never provoked Michael Jordan in any way. But in the early 1990s, many people considered Clyde Drexler to be as good as MJ. Facts. Which at that time was not far-fetched. Drexler was a great scorer, he was a spectacular player, had many highlights, and his team, the Portland Trailblazers, were always in the race of winning an NBA championship. But then there was the 1992 NBA Finals, the Chicago Bulls versus the Portland Trailblazers, and MJ finally had the chance to show the difference between him and Clyde. Clyde the Glide says we're the two best in the game, but I'm not getting into a war of words with Mike. Clyde was a threat. You know, I'm not saying he wasn't a threat, but me being compared to him, I, I took offense to that. <laughs> You're like, no, we're not the same, bro. I'm covering the finals. So the night before game one, we were at Michael's house playing cards, and he said, you know what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm going to give it to this dude. Michael's sideline, he runs right by him. Stop, fire, come on! Jordan Ewing Robinson, yes! Jordan posting up, goes to the fadeaway, right. three I was in the groove by the rhythm that... <laughs> Boy, it's so I fucking good, bro. It's crazy. the greatest. <laughs> Started hitting threes like they were free throws. Like it was free throws. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The rim seemed like a big old huge bucket. Mm. And I can't miss it. Six threes in the first half. Yeah, he, he, I think he had like 35 points in the first half. Mike, good shot, boy. After a while, I just looked at Marvin and, and Magic and those guys. What can I say? I mean, it's not me. It's just, the, just the moment. This right. Is the greatest just the moment. <laughs> maybe ever in the history of this league. That's tough. Next on my list, I have Jeff Van Gundy. Now for the first time, I have a head coach on Jordan's hit list. Jeff Van Gundy did the ultimate no-no. He insulted Michael Jordan over the press and would soon pay the ultimate price. Yeah, is to befriend them, to soften them up, make them feel like he cares about them, and then he goes out there and physically tries to destroy them. Right. Michael Jordan is always on the lookout for extra motivation. Thanks. In January, Jeff Van Gundy did. Just that. An NBA season high, 51 points. Left Van Gundy at the Knicks, speechless. Mm. <laughs> 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 <
In some games, Starks will do a pretty good job, but in other games, Jordan will play with Starks. Like little girls play with Bob. <laughs> but Jordan will go off and would embarrass Starks, especially in a Madison Square Garden. The best example would be in 1995, when Jordan had his first comeback and had only played a handful of games or 55. before he returned to New York and will put on a show for the ages. 55. Boy, Mike, man. And he continued his onslaught from just about everywhere on the court. Greatness. Pat over here looking on. <laughs> and that's hilarious, man. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Sheet. Yeah, that was the reaction to uh, Seven Victims of Michael Jordan. Um, I appreciate everybody that's tapped in. All Jordan has tapped in. Um, we're trying to get this channel, this the 6K subs. But the main goal is to get it to 10K. I was going to say 10K, but we got to get to 6,000 first. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Y'all stay safe, stay tuned, and we out.